Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be doing a NASCAR bust on Brian Scott and his career. His truck series stats were this. Four years, 62 races, 2007 to 2012. First career win came at age 21. Two career wins in the truck series. 11 top fives, 23 top tens, zero poles. 148 laps led, an average finish of 15.1. White flag and gets to it. Next flag will determine the race winner. Joey Colt has been able to get around Timothy Peters for the third spot. And Kyle Larson come back, reel in that 18. Not enough time, too much distance. Kyle Larson running second, a very impressive performance tonight. But in the end, Brian Scott. Coming through three and four. Out of turn number four. Second career win Brian, in the truck Brian, series. Brian Scott Brian, wins at Phoenix. The team celebrating. We talked about the 18 owned by Kyle Busch Motorsports. Right, Hadn't buddy, been to the three lane you. yet. Thank you. What's well, going there the tonight? Band. Rick, awesome job, everybody. Great job, everybody. Way to dig, Brian Scott, on that restart. Rick Wren, we heard Kyle Busch say you're the man. Yeah, what a great night for that team. Great job for Brian Scott. Uncertain of what his future is, but man, when there, when the money was on the line, he dug down deep inside and made. Brian Scott's Xfinity Series stats were a little better than his Truck Series stats. Um, finish wise, but they went like this eight years zero wins 21 top five 79 top tens five poles an average finish of 15.3 Yeah, it looks like he got on that apron I'm uh, you come on down pit road. I'm wondering if something broke. Did you see the sparks now? It looked like he may have gotten against that. Oh got on that apron right there. Yeah, he was pitching you bud he was ninth at the time of Let's the crash. Take a look at it here. And a tough break for Brian Scott. Now remember, he had that broken hand from last August in the truck race, and he's about to get it worked on again. Here's a replay. And you can see right here, just right. He doesn't actually catch the apron. Looks like he's just in that, that zone where you get so loose underneath the car. Paul didn't give him a lot of room, but hey, it's racing. Yeah, well, Paul didn't do anything wrong whatsoever. No. In, and Brian was all the way to the bottom of the track. Let's watch this again on the white line. See, he just gets loose right there. And then he has no room to let the car slide up. Walk it up the track, I call it. And around he goes. Yeah, unfortunately, that's not a walk. 11. Not looking as pretty as it was earlier. Another victim of uh, a little bit of contact through the trial. Highlight reel of this one's going to be bump drafting gone bad. Michael Annette in the 43, James Busher in the 30, the black car to that side. Yeah, I think Brian Scott pulled down thinking that Michael Annette would help push him by that car. They had a nice little run going there, but uh, Annette hooked him in the right rear and turned him straight into the wall. Actually turned into James Busher before he got to the Yeah, but James Busher got a pretty good lick there. Gonna have to have some damage repaired. Probably good that he hit Busher before he hit the wall, broke a little bit of the momentum. Still a lot of damage to the car. Yeah. Tags the wall on the inside of the back stretch. Or I'm sorry, here on the front stretch. And yeah, two weeks in a row for this team crashing. Big crash at Darlington last week. All right, you're good. He was 13th at the time. Uh, it's just getting loose. Low air pressure, and you have to drive these cars pretty loose anyway. James Busher got lucky to get through there in the 30. Let's go on board with the 66. Stephen Wallace. Two wide, still outside. Stay high, stay high, stay high. There you go. Caution though. Well, Elliot Sadler around. And more, Brian Scott, James Busher. Get going, get going, get going. Stay high, get going, stay high, get going, stay high, get going. Do not pit early if you don't have to. Do not pit early if you don't have to. And counting. Who the hell hit me? Dakota Two Armstrong, Paul Menard. 23 cars, Carlos Contreras also involved. You see Elliott Sadler restarted on the outside there. Brian Scott 
trying to go to a hole. It's not there. Yeah. Yeah, they're definitely aggressive. Green. Yeah, the 20 and the 11 pretty close together. But Brian thought that he could sneak his way in there. He jumped back in the gas and was good. Brian Scott's Cup Series stats for this. Four years, zero wins, one top five, one top ten, and he an average finish 28.1. In 2016, it was his final season when he announced he would be retiring at the end of the season. And that season was known for all of his crashes. With that 33 on the outside, and he got into him. Right front failure to me of some sort. Yeah, because looks Kyle isn't going to go in there with all that momentum and carry those two cars that hard. These seats and Hans devices and Stilo helmets, they, uh, they keep us safe no matter how hard the hit is. It was one of the, the more wild wrecks. Um, all of a sudden, everything just like got really smooth, and I realized I was up in the air. And it doesn't look like it, but I felt like I was looking straight down, and I was just going like, "Ah, oh, just come back to the ground and not flip over." Um, but yeah, just unfortunate. We were having a great. Or the caution the comes out again. Brian had issues getting out of turn two earlier. Up when I was trying to let him go inside of him, so he and just wrecked us on the straightaway. Great opportunity for Brad Keselowski, who was the first car scored a lap down to get back on the lead lap after that loose wheel. This is exiting turn two. Tony Stewart on the lead lap. Brian Scott four laps down. You see Brian doesn't concede the spot. He has every right to race Tony Stewart off the corner. Tony gets loose. It looks to me like Tony's frustrated. Uh, it's hard to defend the three-time champion at car control. I don't think he misjudged it. I think he just basically took his frustration out on Brian Scott. It's one of two things either misjudged it, which is... Brian Scott is known for his crashes, and that's what makes him one of the most recent NASCAR bust on this list. And thank you guys for watching this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe.